Ooh, that's a good starting position. Me and Tunic. Me and Tunic at the front. Let's go, Tunic. This is it. This is our time. Start. Voodoo custom. Voodoo customs away. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of looking forward to this. I've wanted to do this style of race since we did the previous fast versus slow. The the gaps were too big. We had the F1 cars versus the dozers and stuff like that. Um, it, it was, it was, it, the gaps were way too big. But this, we've got low riders versus supercars. I feel like that's a better gap. Supercars are still going to be so much quicker. But we've got two long straights for them to overtake. And, uh, and at least the gaps aren't going to be, you know, too big that it'll cause crazy incidents at closing speeds with the, like it was with the F1 cars and the, the dozers. Uh. So we got eight supercars, eight low riders. Those are the two classes in this. And the order that we get the cars is got completely random. But by the end of the race, everybody will have had one of each car. Well, it wasn't too bad of a first lap. Look at the gap. Now I need a supercar so I can just fly away from everyone who gets. Uh... There we go. 811 straight off the bounce with the top speed. Unless it's being changed on Project Homecoming. Yeah, this is going to be one of those races where. We're not going to know who's going to win until the very last lap, as always, with these class-specific random races. Someone could be right at the back of the order, having gotten all the low riders on the first eight laps, and then have all the supercars to get on the final eight laps, come through everybody and win the race. They get all close up at the end, as it always does. Feeling, uh, feeling a little bit apprehensive for Tunic. We both started on pull, like you know, top two spots. I'm still doing well. He isn't. We can never both have a good race. So. <laughs> maybe, maybe he gets the bad luck this time. And then the typhoon. Oh, is this going to be one? <laughs> Am I going to have the race where I get all the supercars first and I'm just getting um, closed down by all the supercars at the end? That is a big possibility. <laughs> if I get all the supercars in these first... Uh, in these first, like, first eight laps, I end up... Well, first, I suppose, nine laps, because we started with the lowrider. And I'm just being hunted down by supercars over the remainder of the race. I'm not going to be able to take it.
I think the low riders. I don't know about the uh, the balancing of the low riders class on Project Homecoming. There might be like substantial pace differences between some of the cars. Like I included the Saber Turbo Custom, but I would assume that the Saber Turbo Custom is significantly quicker than some of the other low riders, like the Voodoo and Tornado and stuff. They haven't been touched. Yeah, okay. So the low riders class does have a a decent variety of pace within it. The Meteor. I'm getting all the supercars first. <laughs> Bloody hell. Absolute rigging. Giving me all the supercars first. I'm just gone. Empty roads out front. Yeah, I suppose I'm, I'm, I'm at least being able to make the most of the pace for the supercars. I'm not having to overtake slower cars. So maybe that will help me as it closes up towards the end. But you know, there's, there's quicker drivers than me in this race, so... Could end up being tight. Oh my god, that was some serious life. <laughs> Jesus. How far can we go on the run of supercars? I'm already lapping people. That's the pace difference between the low riders and the supers. So it's not that difficult to overtake them, I suppose. Three supercars in a row. Are we going to make it four? Yes! Oh my god! What is this? I mean, like, the... Um, <laughs> like, the way that, you know, probability and all that works, there is a chance that, you know, someone... Will will be on the very fringes and getting all the low riders first or all the supercars first, but the majority of people get a you know a healthy mix. Bloody hell! I'm coming up to like the back end of the pack who've probably had mostly low riders. It'll all come back to bite me in the ass later on, though. I'm, all, I'm gonna like I'm gonna get all the same cars by the end, so I've got to go through all the low riders eventually. Now would be a good time to get a low rider as I'm coming up to the back of the pack. Drek with no supercar yet. He's having the opposite race to me. What next? Finally! <laughs> finally a lowrider! Buccaneer Lux. Four supers in a row to start the race. Wow. That was about perfect timing. Oh! Oh, it doesn't break! Hey, what Neutron behind? He's had a fair his fair share of uh, supercars in these first. I think he had the Glendale Custom and the Saber Turbo Custom. Yeah, no ABS in uh, the Buccaneer looks. <laughs> but yeah, that was the perfect time to get the first low rider, just as I was catching up to that pack. If I got another supercar, I would have lost time trying to get through them. Here comes Neutron closing me down already. Fast rate of knots. It's going to take the lead, I think.
That's how quickly it can change. How quickly it can swap around, such as the pace difference between the cars. This is a much better pace difference though than what we did when we did the F1 cars versus the Dozers. It's gone. Glendale Custom. All right. So did I had uh, I had four supercars in a row, didn't I? Am I gonna guess? Am I gonna get four low riders in a row? We'll see. In fairness, isn't that much quicker? I suppose that's that's interesting. I guess there's a. A bit of variety in the supercars as well, not only the low riders. This is a very top speed oriented track, I suppose. I got a gap already. Neutron was about 15 seconds behind me. I get two low riders. He's in two supercars and now he's 15 seconds ahead. Big swings. Vergo Classic Custom in front of me, Vergo Classic Custom behind me. This is where I get a Vergo Classic Custom. Do it! Oh, <laughs> that would have been good. Alright, another supercar. There's five on the supercars, three on the low riders as we're at the halfway point. It's about adapting to the pace difference as well each lap. Like you just do a lap in a super slow low rider and then you've got to immediately adjust to a supercar. <laughs> I thought he, like, knew I was there and was, because he went off track, so the way that he came back on, I thought he was, like, giving me the space and then lag and demon drags happened. Always when I'm in the quick cars. My G, my GT. We're on six and three. I've only got two supercars to go after this. One of them Mutron's in right now, the other. going to be a tough final few laps because I think I'm I'm going to I mean I'm going to be mostly in low riders so I'm going to be attacked from behind rather than coming through the pack and attacking how's Tunic doing still in the top 10 oh, I've got to clear him I've got to clear him before the highway break there we go good That was a big old clip. Yeah, traffic is an issue too. This is the point in the race where the gaps are like probably going to be the biggest. 
and then it will start to close up again as those who've had the bad cars get the fast cars and vice versa. Only two supercars left. Five low riders. Looks like we're gonna have another low rider. Chino Custom. Chino Custom chasing down a Peyote Custom. I think the Peyote is quicker, isn't it? Oh yeah, Peyote Custom is much quicker. That's new. See, this is the interesting thing, like someone, someone from like outside of the top 10 or something could just come through and take the win. You just never know. Like R2X DJ in 10th, for example, he might have had low riders all, all the first eight laps. You just don't know. It's going to get intense at the end. I think my chances of beating Neutron after that crash here have diminished. I had the benefit of, uh, or at least, yeah, my, my advantage from starting at the front and getting those clean laps has gone from that crash. Four and two left. Four low riders. Two supers. Chances are it's going to be a low rider, and it's a super. <laughs> so the adder is the only supercar I've got left. Still got four low riders to go through, but only the adder remains for the supers. Neutron is so far ahead and in a supercar. He must only have low riders left, surely. At this point. What a machine. This is a great version of it. This roadster. pretty big it's, it's gonna close up neutron in the infect and now I'm in the other so I really am I've got four low riders to go and that's it neutron must also have four low, low riders there's no way he can be 25 seconds ahead and still have a supercar somewhere to go Grim behind me in the Typhoon. Don't know what he's got left. But anyone in the top few positions at this point surely must have more low riders. It's 
crazy how quickly I got through the supercars. The random gods want me to be under pressure in this one, in those, these final few laps, and just seeing where I can hold on to finish. All right. Give me these low riders. Saber Table Custom I've still got though. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> and this is the quickest of the low riders I've got left. Man, it really wants me to have the slow stuff at the end. Ah, oh, that was awful. Your Typhoon Artwix DJ up into sixth now in the Typhoon. See, I said, like, you know, there's, there's people who are gonna have all the good cars now, just like I'm getting all the low riders. It's all gonna start to tighten up. Sunsets. The sunset in GTA has always been pretty amazing. Yeah, it's all downhill from here. I'm pretty sure that my, uh, any advantage I might have in the low riders, I'm not going to be able to do anything with to catch up 18 seconds to Neutron. The gaps in the low riders aren't that big. So I think he's he's the man to, uh, to watch for the win. Unless I've had something super slow and he's going to get something super slow that I just don't know about yet, but... Big gaps at the front. There's a supercar for Grim behind. He still had one in his back pocket. I think r 2 dj had to wait for a takeout. You know what I've got left. I think I'm going to be fighting to keep second place against Grim behind. He's closing so fast. <laughs> It is there it goes there's the manana got a chino in front neutrons also in a chino have I had the chino Yeah. What have I got left? What's my last lap? Oh, the Manana's got the better top speed than the Chino. Second place goes back my way. The Vago. I think it's the, it's the Vago, isn't it? Vago Classic Custom. I, I haven't had. I don't even know what that's like. I know it's slow, but it depends what everybody else has. 
the Captain Neutron has come down as well. No, for God's sake, man. Oh, well, rip. I was catching Neutron. Might have been an intense final lap. Not anymore. That is so disappointing. That's not really fourth place, I'm lapping him, it's just a bug. Neutron still had the Majima GT for his final lap. No. Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> well, I was never catching Neutron anyway, I suppose. Neutron's, neutron just being quick at this race. And now I'm in a battle of a second, a Vego Classic Custom versus two Manana Customs. I don't think I've got it though. I think that crash has lost me second place. I'm just losing pace on the straight. Customs definitely quicker than the Vega Classic Customs, so I am in danger of losing third as well. So I'll try my best to keep the podium. Neutron takes a dominant win. Looks like it's going to be third. Oh, that's a damn shame. I think it could have been second if it wasn't for that crash. Well, both crashes, I suppose, but certainly that last one. That was fun, though. I love the way that those races close up towards the end. For everyone apart from Neutron, I suppose. <laughs> uh, wow, only the top four were on the lead lap in the end. Such was the pace difference. That's all. I, oh no, no, people are finishing now, so it's going to change. Artwick DJ finished fifth in the end. See, you just never know where people are going to finish, especially like when you're halfway through. And people could have had any amount of cars and will come through the pack later on. We'll have to do more of these fast cars versus slow cars.